Hey guys, what is going on? Thank you so much for clicking on this video. If you guys do want to win yourself an account on FIFA 19, on the Xbox One, or on the PlayStation 4 with over 200k, all you guys have to do is just leave a comment below and subscribe to my channel and you will be entered into my monthly giveaway. Good luck to everyone. You can do whatever you want with the coins on the account. You can transfer them over to your main account. I do not care. So let's go ahead now and get into the video. Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome back to another squad builder. Today, I'm building a team that will cost you about 600k, and this is an awesome team. Hopefully, you guys do enjoy. Leave a like on the video if you do, and subscribe if you're new. I upload daily FIFA 19 squad builders, so let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys want to see next, and let's go ahead and start building this team. The goalkeeper is going to be from the Serie A, and we are are gonna be going with Handanovic. I think probably the best goalkeeper in this area. Ah, uh, six foot four, so quite tall and actually decent at saving finesse shots. I think he's definitely better than most goalkeepers. And then the center back on the left hand side is gonna be his teammate, which is gonna be the UCL De Bruyne. A really good center back, not the best pace, but defensively he's really good. He does have 88 interceptions, 89 marking, 88 stand tackle for about 14k. A really good center back, and then. The center back on the right is gonna be a really pacey player, which is gonna be Manolas. 83 pace, so extremely fast for a center back. 86 defending, 82 physical, only about 11k for him. He does have 85 sprint speed, 86 interceptions, 86 marking, 87 stand tackle, 86 aggression. A really aggressive center back, one of the most OP center backs on the game, and I can't believe he's only about 11k. And then the right back is gonna be his teammate, which is gonna be Florenzi, one of the best best right backs in the Serie A, 84 pace, 81 dribbling, quite good on the attack and also defensively, 90 stamina, 87 agility, really fast on the ball, and then on the other side of the team, the left back is going to be a player that I did put in the team for the chemistry, but he was really good, it is going to be Tagliafico, and this is an amazing player in game, 90 pace, 84 defending, he's not the tallest, only 5'7", and he kind of feels like Jordi Alva in game, he's rapid, looking at the in-game stats 90 sprint speed and 97 stamina 85 marking 85 stand tackle defensively he's great and not too bad on the attack so that's been the defense of the team and then moving to the midfield the center mid on the left hand side is gonna be the player that i did build the team around which is gonna be the new spc future star the young and he has a really nice card 90 rated and he does have 85 pace and 90 dribbling 89 passing the price right now of the spc is about 130k so it's quite cheap actually and he does have a loan card available as well that's only like 10k so if you guys want to go ahead and try him out before getting his SBC I would recommend it and in my opinion that this is a really nice card even for that price tag of 130k he played really well in the games I did play he has a really nice well-rounded card four star skills looking at the in-game stats 86 sprint speed 99 shot power 93 short pass a 93 dribbling 85 composure 82 stamina which isn't the best but he can definitely last you all game as i've said i would recommend you guys go ahead and complete the spc he's a really good player in game definitely usable even like in foot champions the only problem honestly is that he's kind of hard to link up but you guys can use him as a super sub if you want and he can do the job he can defend he can attack just a really balanced player and then the center mid in the middle of the team is gonna be a player that I do have in here for the chemistry which is gonna be the UCL with Naldum and this is a really decent player as well really similar to De Jong he also has a really nice well-rounded card about 14k for him every stat above 70 and then the final midfielder is gonna be Fabinho one of my favorite midfielders on the game 71 pace 84 defending 84 physical defensively a complete rock I did play him as a CDM once I do change formations and he plays really well in that position 93 stamina 85 aggression a really aggressive player and as i've said defensively intercepts completely everything for about 35k one of the best midfielders you guys can buy and then moving to the attack the right wing is gonna be salah one of the more expensive players of the team about 150k for 
him 92 pace, an amazing shot, 84 shooting, an amazing finesse shot especially, 90 finishing, 83 long shots, 83 curve, 91 composure. I did play him as a center attacking mid in this team and he played quite well. For 150k I think that is a really good price. And then the left wing is gonna be Hazard, the most expensive player of the team, about 240k. But this guy is definitely one of the best players of the team. He has a 91 pace, 94 dribbling, 93 acceleration, 84 finishing, 83 curve, 91 composure, 95 agility, really fast on the ball and has really good finishing as well for a winger. And then the final player, it is gonna be the beast that is Lukaku, 84 pace, 6 foot 3, 87 physical. He fits FIFA perfectly this year. He's very tall, has a decent pace and has amazing finishing being extremely strong. So for about 50k, a great striker. So that right there has been the team. It played really well. Now in game, I do change formations to the 4-1-2-1-2 second variation. And then that right there is how I did play the team in game. I did play Fabinho as a CDM. Salah did play as a center attacking mid and then up top Lukaku and also Hazard. You guys can go ahead and switch them around how you like. Maybe you play Hazard at Cam and Salah up top, but I think it plays a bit better like this. I did play De Young as the right center mid, and he was pretty attacking in this team and its formation to be honest, and defensively he was alright as well. You guys can also play in the 4-2-3-1, and then play the team like that. So go ahead and play Fabinho and Wijnaldum as the CDMs, and then you can go ahead and play De Young in a more attacking position at center attacking mid. I would play him as the middle center attacking mid, and then Salah the right center attacking mid, and Hazard the left center attacking mid with Lukaku up top. This can also work. So that right there has been the team. Hopefully you guys have enjoyed. Leave a like on the video if you have and subscribe if you're new. Let me know down below in the comment section what team you guys want to see next. If there's like a budget or a player that you guys do want to see me build a team around. It's been ETG and I'll see you guys next time. Peace. Like you, be strong. All the powers of the sun To dream, believe In strength now I'm the only one Only one Superhero